Hi everyone, welcome to Tamari's World. Today's video, I'll be doing my hair and I'll be doing a hairstyle that I've never done before. Um, I do my hair pretty often, but I usually do like box braids or like faux locks, soft locks, things like that. Um, but I'm gonna be trying a style that I've never done before, so let's hope it comes out cute. I have no idea how this is gonna look. I don't know how long this is gonna take. But I'm taking y'all with me on this little experiment. I'm gonna wash my hair and then blow dry it and come back when that's done. I'm back. Okay, hair is all washed and I blow dried it and I put it in these little braids just to keep the little sections together. I'm not really excited to start because i'm scared i don't really know how to i'm gonna pull up pictures on my ipad so i can use it for like a little reference so i'll put a picture on the screen for y'all so that y'all can see what we're going for and y'all can see how far or how close to the picture that i get because <laughs> lord <laughs> my hair my hair like puts me in like a different mood <laughs> like Anyways, um, time to part. So I think I'm gonna make a part right here and do this all around my head for the top area. Pretty good to be. I'm gonna get my other mirror to put it behind me so that I can see the back of my head. That's usually what I do or I'll FaceTime myself on a different device and whatever but i'm filming so i'm not gonna do that okay we got the top section this is what i have for the top period period if it's not that even i really don't care so we're, we're not going for perfect we're going for good enough okay i think oh this is not even this is gonna be the size of the sections so pretty small this is like no hair and i'm not mm. Like, look at that. I'm supposed to braid that. I'm supposed to braid that. Like, I don't know how these people do it. Y'all, I did it. My edge is a little out right there, but I can always slick that down. But look, I did it. And I totally forgot that I brought, I bought braiding hair to add into it. So I didn't even get that set up. So I'm going to have to let this go. And I'm going to really, I really hope it doesn't unravel because that would be so so bad if it didn't this is the hair that i will be adding into it i got the 32 inch kind because i don't really want them to be too long i kind of want them to be like mid length period period it's coming out pretty good okay and now we're gonna fix this because i really just pulled too much from up here so good enough This one, I only put two pieces of hair in, but I feel like as we go further, obviously my hair gets thicker than the one in the front. So I'll probably only use two and I'll see how long. Oh well, yeah, they're about the same like lengthwise. So I'll probably keep only using two, putting one in about in the middle of the braid and then putting one in once I get past like my scalp. Number two is done. It looks so good. I'm actually really excited. I, I'm gonna come back probably when I get to the other side so y'all can see how this side's coming along. Alrighty, I have half of the bottom back section done. I'm gonna turn around so y'all can see it. I might redo some of them, but I also might not because once I did the top, if you can't see that it looks messed up, I'm not redoing it because <laughs> there's no point. I'm gonna start doing this section, come back when it's done, like I said, and show y'all the entire bottom. It's so crazy to me that I started doing hair literally in elementary school, and it's because of my older sisters. They both, my middle sister, she's training to be a hairstylist. My oldest sister, she would do our box braids, our twists, like she would do our hair all the time. And I just kind of learned by being buy them and ever since then i've always done my own hair for real i don't know how to cornrow though i know how to like like i can do it like this but going backwards like this my fingers just don't coordinate very well to do that all right y'all here i am looking all shiny moisturized and beautiful i finished the bottom part of my hair now the two ones in the middle were so hard to do especially in the back like it's 
but it's in the back so whatever but i'm gonna show y'all do not judge me okay it's my first time like i said but i think they look pretty good okay. There's a, I feel like there's a lot, of, a lot of space right there, but maybe I can put a braid like down in the middle so it'll like kind of fill out the space. I don't know. We'll see. But I think it looks cute so far. Y'all won't really see the full, the full effect until the end. Now we're gonna start on the top of my hair, and I'm actually gonna take a break because I need to eat. And usually I like to force myself to finish my entire head in one sitting without taking a break, without eating, drinking, whatever. And I'm just like, why would I do that to myself? Like, why am I torturing myself like that? So I'm gonna take a break, I'm gonna eat, and I'm gonna come back and do the rest of my hair. <sighs> I'm back. I'm done eating, let's get back to the hair. <sighs> this is so difficult. But I can do it. Y'all, this one looks so good. It looks so good. And I have my little my little edges out. Wow. We're done with number three. They're coming out so good. They're coming out so good. I can't wait to put the beads on them and see how that look that looks. I've pretty much finished the front section right here i'm not sure what to do with the back like obviously they're not all gonna go this way but like i don't know when i should like how i should start going back i don't know i'm gonna figure that out when i get to the back but i'm gonna start this side and just do up until like the same point we have finished the top it looks so good they look so like straight and even now it's time to do the back and I don't even know how I'm gonna do this but I think I'm just gonna do like I think I'm just gonna go back with them honestly and truly just straight back <sighs> y'all I finished my hair I might have to redo some of the, like the ones in the back because they're so much bigger than the ones on the top and they're like different sizes but I'm gonna just see how it looks because I'm tired and I don't really feel like redoing them right now so we'll see if I feel like it needs to be done right now but I'm gonna show y'all so first off here's the top actually because the top looks so good I feel like the sizes don't really matter and if I come back and decide that I want to make them smaller I can just do that I still have more hair so we're just gonna rock with this for now I'm gonna go ahead and um dip them in the boiling water i think the top part looks so cool i love that i was able to do it like that the water is boiling obviously okay i'm just gonna pour oh jesus that's why we do it in the sink okay I just get like a towel and do like half of my hair and I don't drink out of this cup in case you were wondering. This cup is specifically for this reason. Um, well, it's not specifically for that, but that's what I specifically use it for, you know? Anyways, dip the boys in. I like to do like this and just kind of, you know, move them around, spread them out. And then get the towel in the other hand. And you just ring that boy on out. Ooh, not, don't dip it in. Don't dip the towel in there, okay? Don't do what I did, but y'all look how pretty I look. Anyways, here, look. I just love how the top looks. Anyways, it's time to go put the beads on. The beads that I got from the beauty supply store are these gold ones. They're so cute. Ooh, cute little look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's giving like undercut, but like a huge undercut, like a like a bald fade, but like like I don't even know what that what this called, like a high top, high top converse definitely not that anyways okay okay so i'm gonna alternate like some of them are gonna have like gold clear gold some of them are gonna have like clear gold clear this is not gonna work okay i have some gold wire that i used to make like nose cuffs and stuff so i'm just gonna cut off a piece of that 
and use that this is when you have to get creative guys you yeah, gotta get creative sometimes i literally just had to clear storage off my phone just to film this so let's freaking at these bees i'm freaking tired and i want to go to bed and i want to, this to be done so I just put them to where I want them to be and then I get the end of the braid and I wrap it over the, you know, boom shakalaka and just tie it off with the rubber band. And then I cut this little baby off and yeah. Y'all, it is 12.45 in the morning. I have to be up at 7.45 to register for my freaking classes. Anyways, I finished the the bottom row they're so cute i've cut this side so here's these i'm gonna go ahead and finish the top and show y'all the finished results wow so i can take my ass to sleep i'm tired yeah we have finished oh gosh i forgot to cut ah, i forgot i had to cut them hold on all right mm -mm -mm. This looks so cute. I've been wanting to do my hair like this for literally so long and I'm so glad that I finally did. I'm gonna show y'all the back. They're so cute. Period, period. It came out so good, so good and I'm so happy with it. And the gold beads, they really shine. Yeah, shiny, 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 shiny. Shining, yeah. I just wanted to show y'all the finish, like a final look with like my own, my makeup done. I look all cute and the hair. It's just so cute. And like I knew, cause I wear a lot of like gold necklaces. I knew that the hair would like tie in with the gold, all the gold that I wear. It's so cute. I love it so much. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like because it really helps that channel. I'll see y'all in next week's video. Bye.